referencing CSS. You may remember adding some style sheet commands to page properties on the products report. Continuing to add these snippets would make maintenance difficult. Instead, we can compile these in our own CSS file and include it within our page template. So first, let's modify the products report and remove that snippet of code. So I'll take this style out and apply those changes. Instead, we can create a packed.css file and place it in the images folder. Now in here, there is some style sheeting that we've just removed, plus some more for later on in the course. And we need to include that within all our pages. So what we need to do is modify the page template to refer to that style sheet. So the page template here is one level of tabs, no sidebar. So I can edit that and scroll down to an area which allows us to include the various style sheets. There are some already for the particular theme. But we're going to add a new one referring to the image prefix substitution string. Previously we used workspace images which allowed us to point to a file loaded into the database. Image prefix points to the images folder relevant to your Apex instance. So that allows me to refer to image prefix apex 4.2 slash images and my file name I can add to the end here packed.css and that will include that file into our page template hence when we run the page we can see that the changes are still applied and what we can do is right click and inspect the element using my Chrome browser here and we'll look at the T head tag and we can see here there's our packed class from modifying the T head to a light grey and it's now coming from the packed.css file as opposed to being in line. So here we've learnt how to include any form of supporting file to our web pages. In this case we used for a style sheet. Next we'll look at controlling the placement of regions within a page.